Hello, it's the Seamus and 7 myw Oh, I finally, uh, finally received my Radio Oddity GC5. Uh, I'm not sure who out there has done one of these yet. I just noticed that uh, from a from another YouTuber, there is a, a Baofeng that looks similar as the the screen style. But this is a Radio Oddity GC5. Uh, I did do a small, brief little introduction to it here on the on the YouTube channel. It was last week, I believe. I ordered this through Radio Oddity. And this radio was shipped from Hong Kong, so it was shipped uh, directly to me as opposed to going through Radio Oddity's uh, local warehouse. And I paid uh, $24.99, I believe, plus shipping. And I don't even think they charged me shipping, honestly. I have to go back and double check that. But decided with the screen like this, $25, why not give it a shot? So what do you get? Well, the GC5, just a little bit of a basic here. The GC25 is, or GC5, excuse me, is just a two meter, 70 centimeter dual band. It's just FM analog only. It has 999 memories, no crossband. No, this doesn't, this radio does not have any of these big features that you would see with the, the, the big manufacturers. Uh, does not have Bluetooth or any of these things, but for $24.95, it's a great looking little radio and it works, it works well. Um, it does have an A band and a B band. Let's see if I can show you a little bit here, uh, as you can hear. Alrighty, well, my friend, the help desk is now open. The sound is and, good. Uh, uh, I did uh, speak Blue with KB7RQQ this morning when we were talking through uh, the repeater this morning, and he said the sound was really good, nice and bright. He said so. That's a good thing. I haven't had a chance to listen to my own voice yet on these things, so I will get there eventually. But. Uh, just wanted to get something out onto YouTube showing this wonderful little radio. Uh, it One thing it does not have is that you cannot listen to both bands at the same time. So if you uh, turn this over Signal. to the B-band, it disappears. And now you're just only on the B-band, so I'll key up the local machine here. And 7MYW testing. And then there's the, uh, the local 70 centimeter repeater down the hill from me. So, but if you turn it back, it's gone. So you can only listen to one at a time. Uh, and that's okay. You know, that's, it's, uh, what do you expect for, for this, uh, for the price of this thing? It's, it's a pretty cool little radio to throw into the to-go the, to bag and puts out five watts. I believe two and a half is the, uh, the low power. I'd have to double check that. Uh, I have not run a spectra analyzer on it. I don't, uh, I haven't run uh, either an antenna or uh, power testing on it either. But from what I am uh, going by the paperwork, and it has a pretty well written manual, although it's tiny print. So, if you're going to need glasses for uh, for anything tiny print, that's that's definitely a, a candidate for it. But uh, it's a well written it's a well written little little uh, booklet here with instructions. Um, let me double check to see if it shows what the power output really is here. Uh, I believe when I ordered it, it said five watts, and I thought it said two and a half and one, but uh, I certainly could be wrong on that. But I'll look it up. Uh, Probably look it up a little bit later here. It does have the LEDs at the top there that'll do red for transmit, of course, and green for for receiving. Um, it, it feels good in the hand. It's not very heavy. Uh, I I think that that's going to be nice if you want to wear it on the belt. It's got 999 memories in it, so there's plenty of space to put things that you might not necessarily uh, use just for ham or radio related. And I listen to a lot of marine, and uh, I also listen to uh, trains so between the between the railroad and between marine use uh, those those are all great combined with my local machines um, cool little radio comes with the cradle of course plugs just directly in so it does not have a barrel bolt on the back uh, there's a little adapter that pops out that allows you to put this in here uh, it charges it pretty quick uh, i had a completely dead battery and it charged it within about three hours so that was kind of nice the, it feels good. I love this green. It's kind of like an army green, you might say. Well, maybe just slightly off, but uh, it does feel good in the hand. I'd say it's probably about the same size as my Anytone uh, 878, but a lighter. And the battery is, is it is not USB-C. It is definitely not USB-C, and you can only charge it through this desktop charger. So, again, that's what you get for, for $29.99. uses the standard Kenwood um, programming cable. The software's free through Radioddity, uh, but it just charges through here, and you have to unscrew this if you want to take the belt clip off or take off the battery. Um, pretty impressive, though. Everything lights up. 
Um, it sounds good. Sounds good transmitting. Sounds good receiving. I have some more programming to do. I need to get the other frequencies in there, but I have already added a bunch of local machines. Now, it does have an interesting menu system. You push this button here. And it takes you to this menu system. Let's see if I can get a little closer. It takes you through this menu system. And then you just kind of take it from there. Once you get to where the menu item you want is, say for instance it's wide or narrow, you hit that again, up or down arrow, and then hit that again, the, the small little menu button. And, and it's pretty good. Um, no frills. You could either have the screen come on for 5, 10 seconds and then go off, or you can have it continuous like I have, which is what I prefer. Um, it has a nice screen. The fonts for the numbers are were perfect. That's why I ordered this. I know Baofeng has a new one out that um, has a really nice screen. The font looks good. It's a color screen, but I think it was $75 or $80. But this at $24.95, I can't even go to dinner <laughs> for that price. So I decided I would give it a try. And I do like Radiodity. I, I, I'm not a big fan of the Baofengs because the ones I've played with have, haven't, just haven't been something I've enjoyed. Doesn't mean they're not that they're bad. They're just not my thing. And I honestly, they have some spectral issues. This one might. I don't know. I don't have the equipment to test that part. But uh, all in all, not bad. It's not something you can get on Amazon. You have to go through Radiodity for this, and then it's shipped direct. So, um, but it's yeah, yeah. It's a it's a nice little radio. Um, I would probably suggest if uh, if you want to uh, get extra batteries, it's an eighteen hundred milliamp battery. Uh, I did not check to see the price on extra batteries, but. Uh, I'm just going to keep the one with it for now, see how long it lasts. Uh, I'm expecting it's probably just going to last about five or six hours and, and you'll be done. High power and low power, you can choose between the two, of course. But it looks good, and it sounds good, and that's what we want. Uh, even if you were just using this as something to listen to, to the marine frequencies or anything else, it will not transmit out of band. Uh, I did put some 220 frequencies in, but you cannot hear the repeater on the other end. Um, you can you can hear a, 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 a transmitter close by. So I went to 220 simplex, and I was easily able to hear myself, but that's right here. So not a sensitive receiver out of band. Uh, it does the usuals. It, it gives you the usual things. It gives you a or FM radio, standard FM band. Actually, you push this button on the bottom, and it goes to that, and you can just uh, listen to the radio if you decide to. Uh, let's click it here. See, there we go. And then you can always just up it to your different frequencies there, and it'll play your standard FM radio. Um, and it's the usual, uh, the usual C frequencies. I believe it goes up to 470, and then up to uh, uh, 170 on here. So you can monitor some of the local local things that are just standard FM. But marine frequencies and train frequencies are great. They sound really good. So I got some programming to do. So, what do you think? Um, great little radio. Uh, highly recommended so far. I've only had it a day, but I'll be playing around with it over the next couple of weeks. I will do a, uh, another video later on after I've had it for a little bit. But uh, it's, pretty in, it's pretty easy to program, and you can program it straight from the, fa the face panel. You do not need the software. Uh, it's, it's simple. It's like the old radios we were used to for so many years. So, I will... Uh, Keep playing with it and see what happens. This is this is my speed of radio when it comes to the price, and they're starting to incorporate better looking radios for this price. I just it's nice, and I, I do like the screen. I like the colors. Uh, I'm I'm getting kind of tired of the old black and white monochrome screens. So, tell me what you think. If you have one of these, what was your experience? And um, if you enjoy this video, give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you so so desire it is free i don't have any sponsorships or patreon options just have fun on youtube and uh, give me that uh, the thumbs up like i asked if you could and if uh, if you could also um hit the notification bell for when new videos come up that'd be wonderful so thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate all of the uh the support on youtube this is uh seamus and seven myw saying 73